Okay, I recently had a request from a fella named Eris or Ari. I apologize if I am butchering your name. Uh, it's not my intent. Um, he wanted to know uh, some of the mods I've done to the DR. For my normal viewer guys, you do not need to watch this. Check. Hi right, guys, Dane here in the Man Cave, Code 4. Cyclops LED replacement bulb fits in the stock housing. I can't remember how much it was. I want to say it was 80 bucks. 300% brighter than the stock. Cree um, LED spots. And I think I paid 20 bucks for the pair. I made my own uh, bracket down here. I didn't want them up on the handlebars and I don't want a bunch of shit up there. So these were like 20 bucks. That was a little bit spendy. And I made my own bracket and I found out the hard way that I think it's JNS Racing. Literally has one almost identical to what I came up with. Okay, that's the low beam. Because I hope you can hear me. Um, I've got my spots tied into my high beams. So there's the high beams. But uh, trust me, they're uh, a nice improvement. This here's the ProCycle SS. Uh, it's kind of like a high flow uh, head pipe. It's a little bit bigger in diameter than the stock. And according to the dyno, it'll give you between three and four horses at the top end of the rev range with a stock exhaust. But that was a little bit spendy. I, I wanna say it was 230 bucks, so that's a judgment call everybody's gotta make. Okay, you definitely wanna get a skid plate or a bash plate for your DR. Uh, this here is the Warp 9. Warp 9 bash plate. As you can see, I ride the DR. Um, they don't make this model anymore, but there's plenty out there. Just make sure you got a bash plate. Okay, the foot pegs. These are the stock foot pegs. A lot of people get uh, lowered foot pegs. I don't mind the way the bike was set up from the factory for me. It's just a personal preference, but I will say this. These foot pegs stock flex. Okay, they're, they're actually almost unnerving to me. Uh, the trick to fix that is just pull these bolts out, double up a couple of washers. There's two there, there's two there, right? So you need eight. There's four, four on the other side. Double up a set of washers that are a little bit bigger in diameter, so they cover the metal in the foot, play, uh, the foot pegs, and, and then tighten them back up, and that, that'll take that flex out of there. I, I don't have that problem anymore. It used to used to bug me, but I fixed it. I have an aftermarket exhaust. This came off of a Gixxer 1000, a 2015 Gixxer 1000. But there are plenty of literal, uh, literally slip-on exhausts that will um, be quite fine. Um, I still have the stock seat. I've had this bike for five or six years now, and I still have the stock seat. I got a new one order, Ferris Industries Rear Tail Rack. There are a bazillion rear tail racks out there. Um, if you decide to put one on your DR, that way you can throw a bag on there, a hard case, whatever. Do yourself a favor. When you take off your grab bars, your tail lights, or my, my bad, your, your turn signals are here. Leave them attached, leave them wired up. You don't have to disconnect them or anything. Undo these bolts. Take your grab bars with your turn signals on them. Just set them off to the side. Install your tail rack and put your grab bars with your turn signals back on. You're gonna have to take a mix of the original bolts and the bolts that come with the tail rack. You're gonna have to uh, mix them up a little bit, but you're gonna want your grab bars back on I, I'm freaking telling you, trust me. I hope you can see this. This is something that is very, very subtle and probably nobody ever catches it. But one thing I did is I masked off the top of my rear tail light, painted it flat black, and took the edge off of that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer look. One other thing that I did is um, 
I cut my rear fender. So, you know, depending on where you live, uh, motorcycle license plates might be different sizes. So I've got mine tucked up right, right there. And I had to, you know, re-bolt it and stuff like that, no big deal. And um, I trimmed off the edge of the fender about an inch above my license plate. I, I got rubber bumpers under there so it doesn't um, rattle or vibrate. Um, but mine doesn't stick down, you know, the other uh, almost, you know, four or five inches, wh whatever, whatever the stock fender is. I, I cut that off right there used to be an upper chain roller. Remove it and put a little, I think it's 10 millimeter by 25, I can't remember. You, you figure it out. Put a bolt in there so water and crap doesn't get down in that hole. Kickstand safety switch right there. When you're in gear and you're out in the desert or wh whatever, and you're jumping or you're going over whoops and stuff like that, if this kickstand was to come down just to fuzz like that, because you went over a big jump or something, it'll kill the motor. Don't be disabling nothing that you're not comfortable with. The oil drain plug underneath there, I think I got mine from Moose Racing. I got a magnetic oil drain plug. So whenever you change your oil, if you see miscellaneous uh, metal flakes or something on that, um, you're gonna wanna get that investigated. Okay, these are Pro Taper handlebars. They are literally identical to the stock handlebar. As you can see, I do not have bark busters. I've had my ass chewed about it, <clears throat> but where I ride, how I ride, blah, 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 I don't need them. But a lot of people put bark busters on there. Pro Taper bars, these are literally identical to the stock bars. You drop the DR once, the stock handlebars are so thin walled on the steel, you're gonna bend them. And so it doesn't take much. These are, these are uh, twice as thick as the stock handlebars. Uh, my speedometer, uh, I don't wanna use the word broke, but was not working correctly. So I ended up going with this thing called the Vapor Trail Tech. Um, which I really do like. Um, it comes in two parts. There's the brain and then there's the dashboard. And if you watch my long-winded video on that, I was not very happy with the dashboard um, portion, but I am happy that I put it on. Uh, I will say that. But the lighting on it was so pathetic, um, even though I was called an idiot by some people, um, I actually pigtailed back into the original light uh, system here on the DR, which just has neutral, um, your left, right turn signals, which is one light, and then your high beam indicator. But let me show you if I can do this without starting the bike. Um, so that's, uh, that's, and you can design this how you want to, right? Um, you, you design your dashboard how you want to. I put my neutral down here. This neutral still works, if you can see that. There's the stock brights. There's the, the brights on my, my dashboard. Um, gosh, the lighting sucks, I'm sorry. That's blue, and that sucks. And so if I go to the left blinker, Okay, left blinker. The left blinker is working, not the right. Left only, kill it. Right blinker, right blinker only, not the left. And of course, there it is, right blinker's on. So anyways, you can, what's nice about this is, just being honest, when I got my blinker on, I can, I can tell if it's the right or the left. A lot of people don't understand, uh, just being honest, the, uh, the airbox mod. When you're doing the uh, Pro Cycle Carb mod, and I, I'll suggest this. If you're going to do the, the Carb mod, do an exhaust mod. 
you do both, all right, or you won't realize uh, the performance increase. And see that little snorkel? Get it the fuck out of the way. Tuck that way down, that, that breather tube. Just get it way out of the way. You don't want it up here where it used to be. A lot of people don't understand the instructions, actually, uh, about the ProCycle carb mod. So I made a little schematic for you uh, in case you want to do it. Uh, that's the front. That's the back. That's where the snorkel is. The snorkel comes out. You pull that thing out. You drill a little hole over here somewhere. Drill a little hole over here somewhere. And then you cut along there. You cut along there. And you cut along there. And this entire piece comes out and so it should look it should look like that you can also drill one more two inch hole remove the snorkel right and you can drill another two inch hole back over here and that is supposed to work just about as well this little green uh, tab here used to be connected to here and even though it's covered with plastic and um, uh, I got a bag over it and stuff like that. That's my little jumper, if you will, to disable the uh, kickstand safety switch. Don't don't be cutting wires. Uh, Shinko 244s. Uh, I got the 5.1, which is a little bit wider than the stock. Uh, fits just fine, no problems there. They are a 70-30 tire. 70% uh, off-road, 30% on-road. They are awesome off-road and they are fine on the road, but when you are cornering, you will feel these side lugs. It's a little bit unnerving, but you'll get used to it. If you want a true 50-50 uh, tire, uh, the Mitas EO7s are amazing on the road and they are way better than the stock death wings off the road. I'm fucking this up. Okay, gear, uh, get yourself a good riding jacket. They're not very expensive. I recommend high vis green. I like the high vis green. It's got armor in the elbow pads. It's got armor in the shoulder pads and it's got armor in the back. There's a zip out um, uh, rain slash uh, cold liner. Uh, for when it gets colder, start off with a company called Fly Racing Element. That's that's a good jacket. I've got I've got several of uh, them. Fly Racing again. Fly Racing. This here is called the Expedition. I like the motocross style helmet with what we used to call a duckbill visor. Uh, it's got the uh, face shield. I recommend them over goggles. Um, and only because I have taken a rock from a car and it whacked me right there. And if I would have had goggles on, I, it would have either knocked me off the bike or uh, given me a black eye. Gloves, you can get, you know, depending on where you are, uh, your climate, things like that. I've got several gloves. I'm not even going to go over with them, uh, all of them with you, but uh, these are uh, Kimi Motos. I recently got these because of Joe uh, at 69080V, Kimi Moto. Um, these have a carbon fiber knuckle protection. They're really, really good. They're very sturdy. They're very durable. And the fingers, um, you can uh, use your cell phone with them. They got this, this nifty deal on the fingers. Boots, uh, I don't care what you use. Do not wear tennis shoes. Get boots that are over the ankles. I have several pairs of boots. I got boots over here. I got boots over here. Um, anyways, I got I got boots over there. These are called Forma boots. Um, Forma, and they're a really good dual sport boot. My Nelson rig uh, tail bag. Nelson rig tail bag. Uh, I use it some of the time when I'm taking long trips, and that goes on my rear tail rack, and I fill it full of tools and things. I'll just show you real quick and we'll button this up. I also got a pair of knee pads and shin pads that help protect the legs. Uh, I, I don't ride the bike without them. I, I just love them. Yo, to you little fucker, every time I get out the DR, he thinks he's going for a ride. You're not going for a ride.
He's supposed to be up there by the patchouli. Little fucker. Okay, stuff, right? Tools, um, flashlight, first aid kit, which is gonna be modified soon, Doc 650, um, uh, slime, tools, fire starter, extra bottle of water. Yoda took this out, little asshole. And some peanuts or something, you know, in case you need a snack. Um, but, but don't put this on if you're gonna be jumping because that'll hit you in the ass and it'll throw off your geometry. I can tell you that right now, uh, not that I know. If you're gonna add auxiliary lights, auxi auxiliary anything, um, I put a 30 amp relay here uh, tied to the battery and then so feeding my lights so you don't completely cook your electrical system, not that I know. And if you're gonna run multiple things, there's a thing called a Easter Beaver PC8 electrical control unit that a friend of mine put up here and he feeds all kinds of things augs lights USB ports um, uh, Stuff like that, but you you, you know, you're just gonna have to do research um, If you're gonna start adding auxiliary things to your bike uh, So you don't overcook the electrical system Check <laughs>